three or four months. Oh, yeah. So you can yeah. disguise that as just having tea without milk with that now. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> you don't even want that booze. Wait, let me just drink some of this before we knock it over. We're on. Oh, we're on. Alright, guys. Hello. Welcome to a special. I'm gonna get a little camera shot. Halloween yeah. episode. Don't worry, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Just the best thing to do though is just to lose yourself in your person. So if we're actually like really just to get out the camera and you're just talking to him, actually listening, yeah, yeah. you forget about it. Has this already started recording? It's already started. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> is, that, is that breaking like a 4-4? Yeah, we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. We break the walls. <laughs> Every now and then. Right here with my screen. <laughs> Standing from the left. Can you find him? Can you not? I don't know. It's like John Cena, bro. <laughs> you can't see him. Uh, uh, um, I introduce myself. Uh, I mean, shit, if you want to. Okay. I was going to introduce you, but. Yeah, yeah no, no, you're no, no, you, the host. Yeah, 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 it's not my podcast, isn't it? You're on that. Alright, alright. It's both of us. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to go, you can do it, man. Let's go. Alright, alright, alright. Right, right. Start, starting from the left, it's probably going to be there, right? But whatever. We've got Wardo, aka Fuzz. <laughs> That's the American one, man. Oh, shit. What do you call you, Wardo? It's Wally for the British Wally, one. Wally? Yeah, yeah, that was it. Ah, I, I always thought it was Wardo. Wardo is the American one. Wally is... It's like we have Dennis the Menace, they got Beano. It's the same thing. Well, what for the family? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Wait, I thought Beano was something else. I thought Beano was like the... Anyways, I haven't finished the introductions. It's Halloween! Right. I know it is! Mm. This is a Halloween special episode, that's why we're, we're dressed in our alter egos. That's why we're <laughs> that's my, my alter ego is <laughs> where <laughs> Wally. Where is Wally? Where is Wally? Where is Wally? Oh, I think I just stay randomly at people's houses, that's what I do. It's like, oh, there you are! <laughs> uh, we've got the Asian Black Panther. Yellow Panther, right. Yellow Panther, <laughs> Stop tag. <laughs> no, no, uh, oh, what? Oh my god, that's a tangent, that's a tangent. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Alright, the Welsh Wakandan in this bit. <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, you know us, come on. We're in the sections. Make sure you're new. Comment, subscribe, bottom left hand corner. But boom, do your thing, do your thing. All right. Um, you guys looking forward to Halloween? Well, we were until yeah. this guy decided to turn up an hour late. <laughs> oh. Ow! Hold on. The, the only reason we're late is because of this guy. <laughs> In my defense, was, my train got delayed because another train broke down, so they had to put the train that was going to arrive at my platform in that in my one. Mm. So like, I so it's good excuse. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go on. <laughs> he, did, he did come through with a bottle open. I did think to myself, you know, that's a little point there. <laughs> I can't have a point. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. Halloween, of course. Yeah, yeah. We have the whole night for you to redeem yourself. Yeah, in fact, the last time I went on ha- out on Halloween was with you guys anyway. Oh, I remember this. Actually, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, was it? Yeah, yeah. Back at tennis. Yeah. The three vampires or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Damn, you guys need to go out. Man. We we marveled and walled up. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm probably the same. I haven't been out in probably mm. so long. I rarely go out. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna be. It's too much effort to go to town. <laughs> and I rarely drink as well. So I give. I'll have probably one of them. and I feel wavy. Yeah. Mm. So I don't drink much. But it's because I don't. I don't go out much. I'll have a social yeah. drink if I meet friends. Other than that, the last time I actually went out mm. was with you in. Uh, Oxford. Yeah, Oxford. Yeah. I got no social life. What's it like in Oxford? Going uh, out there? Oh wait, I tell a lie. I've gone out in Oxford. It was sick. Where did you go? Where? Which pub? Which club? Um, it, you had to like go downstairs. PT. I don't know. But you had to, you go, had to go underground. It was underground. Yes. Yeah. PT. It was it's hard. It's closed down. It's closed down now, but oh, it was so. lit. Actually, yeah. there's, there's another place that's still going underground, which is still good. Bro, I've never been to a place where you have to go underground. Mm. Yeah, got to look it's at it. Let's go Good night. Yeah. Also, random trivia fact that somewhere in that club, PT, where it used to be, it actually leads to like the Oxford, ah, oh, there's the Oxford Union somewhere. Like, there's a door, it's locked, but like, it can lead into like the Oxford Union, like, with a. I'm guessing that's where my mates went then. I, got, like, I, think they, I think they had some MD or something. Some of my mates, because yeah. I, I went off on my own, started dancing, then this girl came. Forget that though. <laughs> um, I lost them, they were gone. Yeah. I thought, so they probably went through that secret door or something. Damn. But it was wicked, bro. 
I need to go out and act like a gang, you know? I've got a pet peeve okay. against that place, man. Why? Why? I lost my jacket there. Oh my god. I didn't lose it, actually. Someone Wait, was it, was it the night when you and me and Sosa were out? Yeah, yeah, that was that night. No, that night like, was yeah. fun. Yeah. It was fun. And then, what happened? You lost your jacket. You tried, you yeah. tried it with somebody. Sosa was... Sosa tried... That was a fun night. Yeah. Sosa was... tried it with somebody. I was... Turns yeah. out Sosa has game. Well... I was yeah, like, yeah. whoa, okay, I'm watching this man at work. Yes. Then I'm not mad at me, but I was there. He was with, no, wait, which? Because I wasn't no, there. No, 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 this was in Oxford, yeah, yeah. this was in Oxford. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was in Oxford as well. well. He did not have any game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, I keep forgetting about that night. You came in Oxford, did you? you oh, yeah, yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. I forget about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, we drank that night, because I don't remember much from that night. Well, wait, no, I don't think anybody got drunk, but you were very high. Okay, okay, mm. yeah, that's, that's probably why. No, it's a different night. Because I was thinking of the yeah. night where we had to like, where the, there was that girl, but like, every girl was curving towards the end of the night. Mm. Well, you know, okay. Um, I was hoping we were all gonna be like superheroes or villains, and then I would be like, okay, so. Kind of we've, we've got villains. We've got villains. What are you trying to do? And what are you? Are you a villain? Are you? <laughs> you kind of a villain. You are a villain because like it's Technic- frustrating to find you. <laughs> yeah, I, I just appear in people's houses when they're like technically when they're open, they just see a shrappy guy in the background. <laughs> just there, like oh, <laughs> you, you can't see me there. He's a cameo. He's. <laughs> I'm a Cameron. A cameo. Oh, a cameo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Really, really, you're always like bear child support. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's missing in the box. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, where's dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the, the whole game is like, where's my picture? The police <laughs> trying to find it. Have you seen this guy? <laughs> <laughs> like he's wearing a red, red and white striped jumper for the rest yeah. of the world. It was black and white, but that's when my convict days. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. They were yeah. like childhood then books. Yeah, mm. yeah man. But so were they like kids books then? Yeah, well, oh, yeah, they still do them. Alright. You don't know about them? I don't know much about them. Yeah, they literally little mini what mini version of me I'm white and you, you gotta find it <laughs> like, like a double face spread and it's like tiny ass people basically. so you'd be like a crowded carnival yeah. or a crowd, like crowded hospital like you've got to try and pick them out basically you imagine like on yeah. facebook where you get like a meme that says can you spot the so-and-so it's basically yeah, that yeah. Like, so yeah. can you spot the moron amongst the rest yeah. of the people on the beach <laughs> excuse me so Kyle what's your origin story Ah. Not actually cow cow, I mean like black pan. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. what kind of life? I'm expecting to do this. I have waited every, for every five minutes, I'm just expecting to do this. Alright? Okay, thank you. You know, I when it came of age, like I had to take over the throne. Right, and right. Had to get that nice I just want to put this out there, I want to see Black Panther next world. Yeah, do I see it? No, I not see it. Black Panther and Ragnarok, I've seen. and Endgame, I've not seen. Basically, and Endgame. Yo, seen Endgame. oh my god, you haven't seen Endgame? Yeah, no, goddamn. Endgame was probably the best, Woo. the yeah. best movie so far. I went to the midnight showing. I stayed awake because it was like, <laughs> I think that movie made so much money. Mm-hmm. They re-released it again. <laughs> oh yeah, they added an extra bit to yeah, it. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but I don't know what that extra bit was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, you fought some other. No, no, no. I, I got my. You know, I was given the royal purple drank before it became purple drank. It was just purple fruit. <laughs> That's cow ball, is what it was. Cow ball, size of Yeah. <laughs> you know. So I do my thing. So I got out to the to the Western world. Uh-huh. Turns out there's people that don't like my place. <laughs> That's why they're yeah, there. They don't know about your place, though. They don't. It's just hidden, isn't it? Yeah, it's like me. There's <laughs> <laughs> like where's one or where's what kind of <laughs> yeah. 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 people trying to leak trying to leak our you know our existence to the world and we're just not ready yet. <laughs> it's really hurtful. Alright, enough about that. <laughs> Me alright. All right. I am the son of an African American and a Latino mother. Which means I can speak English and I can speak Spanish. Do you make good uncle bands? No, I don't have an uncle Ben. I don't have an uncle Ben. But I do have an uncle. Like, so he's a bad guy, isn't it? Like he broke into Oscorp Industries, whatever. You know, Spider Man's Green Goblin. Yeah. You know, in it, that guy. Uh, and then one of the spiders, the radioactive spiders, got stuck to his uncle. And then he came back home, took off his costume. The spider walked around his place. 
I went to visit him in it, mm. and then you know he gave me some money. I'm like, okay, thank you. Of course, you went to him for money. money. <laughs> no, because you know, he's, he, he's calm like that, and he's, he's, he's cool like that. He's always looking out for me. He's like, you know what? And he gives great advice. He's like, you know, like you, don't, you shouldn't listen to all this wishy washy stuff yeah, at yeah. school. You know, life is hard, but you know, if you, mm. if you try your best, you can make it. Whatever. Mm. And then you know, the spider was walking on the couch, and then he bit me, and then boom. There you go, I got superpowers in it. <laughs> I saw a meme on Facebook. You, he had a picture of Spider Man and then, and then um, another picture of like the snake biting him. Yeah. And then had another picture of some. Uh, no, no, it had a picture of a hand, yeah. yeah. And a guy burning himself with an iron. Turned yeah. into Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was another one where like it was like that, but it was a. Uh, a picture of a turtle and then a guy getting beat by a turtle like a glass <laughs> and then he becomes like one of the ninja turtles <laughs> <laughs> that was sick back oh, in the day I love that show oh, I didn't watch oh, much of it to be I fucking love the really cartoon that current series what? I don't even remember it what? So do you know what? yeah yeah that's what I thought yeah, 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 yeah oh oh yeah yeah sorry I missed yeah, that yeah 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 what was the one that went teenage ninja turtles yeah. Alright, what's your origin, bro? Wait, wait. Can you even see where you at? Alright. Well, wait, is this going to be a spoiler free origin story? That's for the. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen it. You know what? It doesn't matter. At, at this point, I've had like enough spoilers to like see the whole movie. Alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> alright, just. Alright, I, I already know he meets Bruce Wayne. But we can talk about, you know, just. I don't know. I'm Let's just, talk about it. I'm, I'm, I'm just a broken guy. Who knows Bruce Wayne? <laughs> he loves Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah. man, he's, he's my light. He's my light. Mm. Oh. You see my version of me? Would you say you like a laugh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, for all of, for the yeah. damn people watching, he is the Joker. Okay. <laughs> Probably kind of the same way. Yeah, it's the thing. You are in there. You can't go in Yeah, yeah. So yeah. far away, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, we had like two questions come in. So, oh, oh no, nice. go for it. I was going to say, say, you guys actually have topics and you plan these, I know. Yeah, we're going to just wrap it up. We're going to get a time with me. Yeah, oh, the intel chat. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 what do you mean? Kind of, kind of me. I research, you know, I'm at home researching all these topics and shit. Like, <laughs> 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 Alright, go on, some other questions. Topic, topic. Yeah, I was going to, yeah, alright then. Uh, wait, wait, let me see what, oh shit, sorry. Let me, let me see what the first one was, there's two. Alright, I have no idea, there's no name there, no age, no gender. No gender. Um, why are some people so perfect? Mm. I don't know about that, bro. Well, yeah, that's a question. How would you define perfect? Perfect and it's impossible. Yeah, well, that depends on who's saying it. Yeah. Because like, it would be perfect. subjective to have the saying it. And do you think they're perfect because they're people online as well? Because, come on, they're showing like, online. Oh! Ah, uh, okay, okay, so like, you know, like, how people represent themselves on like Instagram, yeah, yeah, yeah. social media. Yeah, yeah there's a, but then again, by doing that, that could be imperfection in itself. That you have to That's do that. deep, bro. I know, man. I thought that's yeah, what you guys do here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> like, this is why I invited this guy on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. deep sometimes, yeah. Mm. Um... I don't know, no one's yeah, perfect. Oh, that, that, yeah, that, that's the thing, like, no one's perfect yet. And then, when we talk about social media, the thing is, no one's putting on social media, oh, I just got fired, or, oh, I just lost, lost like, lost a baby, or, oh, I just lost a father, or something like that, yeah, innit? No one's gonna put that up. Social media is like, the, the, people just put their highlights. Like, that's their highlights, and then you're comparing <laughs> your normal life to someone else's highlights. Yeah. It's almost like a metaphor for makeup. Mm. When we wear makeup, our sort of makeup, but another human's makeup is that, that sort of unlike yeah. this one, right? Mm. It's like a filter, mm. our filter, so. Mm. No one's perfect. We well, said this before, and it only perfect yeah. person mm. the dead one. Yeah. No one's perfect. You're just, you're just thinking too mm. deep into it or something. Yeah. Or maybe that you're in, you might be insecure or something. Mm. Right. But, but right. everyone's insecure. Yeah, Everyone's yeah, got that yeah. insecurity. You'll is. always find someone else as perfect because you'll always criticize yourself. Yeah. I mean, you are effectively the role model for imperfection. Yourself mm. will always mm. be the role model for imperfection. Like, every, even the Instagram models who are out there, 
who look supposedly perfect mm -hmm. probably look at other Instagram models and think they look perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I need to improve to look like that. From reference, mm -hmm. there's always because you know it's a freaking ladder. Like, yeah, yeah, there's always, always a step up. Exactly, exactly. And you're always looking at a step up. So do you think that's the problem then? Like comparing yourself to other people? Yeah. It's I, a problem, but I don't think you can solve it. I would say, like, there's people, no, there's a whole issue of about, like, you know, mindfulness and, like, you know, learning to be loving yourself and it's working on it. But I guess it's just, you know, that standard, like, you know, people put themselves, like, they show, they try and show themselves at their best, but at the same time, like, you know, people get leveled. It's like, oh my god, their life must be always at, you know, a 10 out of 10 every time. Yeah, yeah. In spite of that, and, you know, it's unrealistic. You can't be a 10 out of 10. I think a lot of people think that when looking at that guy's Instagram, what's his name? Dan. Dan Barzarian. Dan, Dan Barzarian. Oh, yeah, yeah. I reckon they're probably looking at that Instagram feed. Yeah. This guy's perfect. He's got that's not really he's got that, but I guarantee you, even Dan's got some insecurities. Yeah. He, he does. He does. Um, uh, I think, was it London Real? Uh, it's like a, a podcast channel. Like, this guy talks to, like, basically famous people like Dan Barzarian mm. or, you know, Tim Ferriss or whatever. whatever. And even on that, like Dan Bergeron himself said, like like people will see that, but they don't see that I also had other troubles in my life as well. Mm. So that's the thing. Like we need to. Like people don't see the the bad side of other people. They only see the highlights yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that is what Instagram yeah. ends up being. Yeah. yeah. Many amount of people are going to post every bad thing about their life. And <laughs> this is never going to happen. And, not, it happen. And, and even if they did, they're going to get like uh, not sympathy, sympathy. attention. Something. So like, not, I'm I'm thinking they're going to get like not even sympathy. Um, sort of like oh, this guy's always negative. Yeah. Like, kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, it's shame, ain't it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Neg negativity is shame. Why, why do you want to shame someone who's putting up something like that? Because it, it's negative, it's so they, they'll it see it as them trying to bring other people down. When they might not be, mm -hmm. they will be expressing it, but they'll, people will portray it that way. Other people just look for a problem though. Mm -hmm. no. Also, distance. Like People feel like, you know, even if it's not, if it, even if it's not the full anonymity, like say on Reddit, it's still a form of distance. So. They're probably like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep shooting this person down because they can't touch me. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. and that, that would be an amazing topic because they aren't going back for free. Like, anonymity online. Yeah. It's such a two a two like, two sided thing. Mm. Two edged sword line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well before we go before we get to that, let me just say, um Come on. Is that the new one? Yeah. yeah this is the new one. This is the Spider-Man. I'm not Peter Parker. I'm Marlon Morales. I still haven't seen Into the spider verse I need to watch it. Oh, yeah, I need to watch it. You haven't seen Joker. Stop this. <laughs> I mean, I guess. But I've seen Into the spider verse like a kid movie, though. But it, I do rate it. It is, but you know, it's it's kind of deep yeah. still. You know, you, you can enjoy it even as an adult. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> so like, okay, so you know the 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 trolls or whatever the people that are saying like, oh yeah, why would you post that negative thing? Yeah. Like, why are you trying to put everyone down? Do you think that's because they see that in themselves as well? I think that's but what, they want to reject it. Yeah, because they. I think mm. that. I think that's what they see. They see mm. that the fact that they can't actually do that yet. Mm. They've mm. got the balls to do that online. Yeah, or the openness or the vulnerability mm. within themselves to do that. Mm. And it's easy to show things. Yeah. So much easier yeah. to be negative and that. Mm. It is so easy. Yeah. And and just to like get mm. people aboard and that sort of thing. Mm. That's better projection, basically, as far as psychology yeah. goes. That's projection. Mm. Uh, you get fed in a lot of negativity. So we both in psychology, but yeah, yeah. he actually paid attention in. You, uh, <laughs> I think it is, because like, I was always sat with you. You should have been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I was talking whatever notes you were working on. I was about to say, should you stop his work? But yeah, that's a projection. Mm. Someone cascades mm. their negativity down to you, mm. then they you then project it onto it. It's why in interviews you always get asked, "What do you do for hobbies?" Yeah. They need to know how you cope with your own stress. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you say, "Oh yeah, for my when I go home, I kick the cat," and it's like, "Well, yeah. well <laughs> sorry, <laughs> haven't you?" Guys? It's like your boss is yelling at you, and then you go home, you kick the cat. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 and then mm. you, you pass it on. The, the cat frustrated. It goes mm. and it damages the furniture. It, yeah. it, it just yeah. keeps passing down. Same yeah. thing online though, isn't it? Alternative take, one reason for why the, you know, people get toxic to anyone that actually chose to open up on social media could be like, you know, 
for maybe for some people they see it as a form of escapism. Like they want to see, like even though they know it's a lie, most probably don't, but like they still want, they, it's, for them it's a form of escapism, like you know, to see that there's people living these cool ass lives. And when someone brings a dose of reality, they're like, no, get that shit out of here. Because oh. that's why people go online. They, really? for var- various ways, various reasons, they try to escape reality. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everyone's got their escapes. Yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah, different methods of it. Remember when I went for a bad patch, my escapism was um, mm. gaming, basically, online yeah. gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, yeah. Really therapeutic. Yeah, yeah, it yeah so much. It's basically yeah. your, your avatar yourself, but mm. not you there. Mm. But then again, Instagram probably takes the same token, like you said. Mm. Um, you know, people are going online, mm. they can portray themselves in a manner mm. where they can walk away thinking, ah, I've portrayed myself in so so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, people are looking at me like I'm a god or something there. Mm. And then they go back to their messy ass mm. apartment mm. and go yeah. back to their normal lives. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Shit, that's a that's a deep one. Like escapism, like mm. like it, it's not a sin. It's not a bad thing. Like provided it's well within limits, I guess. Yeah, I guess there's like there's healthy levels of escapism. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But but you can get lost in it. Yeah, like, I think when you get lost to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like if you're in control of your own escapism, you're fine. Yeah. But you can get to the point where you invest so much time in it. Easy. Yeah. Escapes in every way is the comfort zone. Exactly. And that inner yeah. bitch loves that place. Exactly. Um, if you let people. that grow to being bigger than mm. your real life to the point that your reality becomes your escapism, mm. then that's when it becomes unhealthy. Yeah. Don't yeah. practice what you don't want to become. Yeah. Yeah. But addiction yeah. comes yeah. in, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, so you said, what was it, gaming became your escapism? Yeah, yeah. How did you, like, I hear that. how did you. How did you escape the escapism? Or how did you come out of it? I don't know, I, I just kind of, I saw it as, um, like when I saw gaming as an escapism, I recognised it was one, like I acknowledged it. Mm. And if I acknowledge mm. it, I know it's something I shouldn't be indulging in. Mm. Awareness is mm. the first key, yeah. Exactly. And mm. obviously when you're in a, I mean, I take it you've all been on online games at some point. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. And whether it's in console, World of Warcraft, PC, whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I'd walk around, of course. <laughs> <laughs> <Not here>. um, <laughs> um, but then you can see in others what they're like when they don't get out of it. Yeah. And you see, you see people mm-hmm. who who've like they're completely different to, to what they mm. what they portray us. Mm. Like like you see a pitch like I mean, come out about what they actually like, and it's like, mm. hang on. In game, you were acting yeah. like you were some eight foot high Titan, like yeah. What, what, what is your boys are like? <laughs> yeah. What is your weedy uh, ass over there yeah. like, talking about? Just, just, like, just be yourself. Yeah. Um, but that was my mum was, mm. was acknowledging it, acknowledging it, and realizing it's a step for a bigger process. Yeah. 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 It's almost like a pit stop. You don't yeah, stay yeah, there. Exactly. It's not home. Yeah. In fact, that's yeah. a great analogy because yeah. it is yeah. effectively stopping to repair. Yeah. Um, and then mm. you take what you've got and you apply it elsewhere, which mm. is reality or should be. Yeah. Well, in my case, like obviously the video games, but like, um, as you got YouTube done now, when I did get broken up with, um, I was in Omni Shambles, and first thing I knew was like, okay, I have actual money now. Like, I might as well start martial arts again. Mm. And I kind of that was literally my escape. Like it helped me, you know, it got me away from the world and like, it wasn't something I could get fully addicted to because I had to stop eventually. Cause right. like, yeah, that's over. And, and I, I don't know, it's for me, I remember like, that's a keeper in life. And now I do it like what, three to four to five times a week. And it keeps me fair, you know, it keeps me fresh, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Big so like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I tried it once or twice. I loved it, but I haven't gone mm. back to it yet, but I need to get on it. You, you, you need to get back to it. You gotta take that step. It's, it, it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Wicked. I seen this mm. one meme on it. Um, uh-huh. Cauliflower ear, yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, you know, like that big cauliflower ear, yeah. and it was saying, um, if you've got this cauliflower ear and you're still a white belt or something, you might as well carry on. Yeah, it's just gonna look ugly. Yeah, there's a fucking guy that can't fight. I saw that as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I do. To be fair, fitness yeah. is like that for me. Yeah. <laughs> Every time like, when I got out of um, a relationship mm. that just wasn't working out, mm. um, I ended up just like, I go for a period where I just stop, stop giving shit about anything. Mm. My fitness takes mm. a I lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. And then suddenly it clicks and I'm like, I can actually focus on myself. Now. You feel alive again? Yeah. You? you feel so, like, when you're in that non-nihilistic sort of thing, you can't really see stuff too much. Mm, but yeah. Like, when you're back there again, just seeing trees, something about it, it's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And, like, 
light life feels on like a, like it's lit up again. Mm. Yeah. I love that. Street dance sat with mine as well. Yeah. yeah. Um so I kept on doing that even, even when I was living in Nottingham. Mm. I used yeah. to do street dance, I used to do hip hop dance. You go to the main one. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that was my way of getting one hour of headspace of just enjoying what I wanna do. Yeah. And you just forget about everything else and just focus mm. on that. And it's, it was amazing. It's an escape, but like as it yeah, the time limit. Yeah. You have to yeah. come out eventually. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. We, we really have to be like careful. What our escapism are. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. For some people it's heroin. For some people yeah. it's yeah. 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 That's what I was going. I was going. Um, I was thinking like I was thinking that as well. Like, um, what, like, it, like, it, it, like it depends on the escapism, right? Like, an escapism like you know uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. That's like you're building a skill. It's still an escape. Like you're still kind of like denying the reality of the yeah. bad thing that happened. Yeah. But it's still like building you up in a way. Like you're. Like, Cause like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like you're gonna, you think you can fight, right? But, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but once you get on the mat with someone who like knows Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, like, yeah. sure you know you won't experience. I got into it by smuggle, like yeah, girls like you just get told by everyone just because of that skill. But I think for me, what I found is the fact that it keeps me grounded to reality. Mm. Right. Because yeah. like I can never think I'm the shit. Because <laughs> everyone thinks they can fight. Every guy thinks they can fight. Until they get punched. Yeah. Then you gotta yeah. then you gotta hand them that out. Uh, <laughs> so like something like that. That's it's it's a it's a healthy escapism. Like even though that sounds like a. So, what would you consider an unhealthy escapism? Like say for example. Um, Obviously nothing ridiculous, like, <laughs> I, I think jumping up buildings is the worst case of it. I want to fly. I believe. I don't, like, I would say, I would say kind of gaming, but the thing is, I only say that because there, there's no phys- there's no literal enforced time constraint for it. That's like, you can carry on gaming. Yeah. I'm not saying it's bad. Like no, I no, game no, as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's the fact that there's no enforced way to stop it. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. you just keep gaming. You, you, you go like it. forever yeah, and yeah. come out like you know you know yeah. that yeah. meme like oh yeah what time is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I took still because I was mm-hmm. watching um on this morning mm-hmm. Fortnite. Bro, he's like four thirteen years old. Oh my god, bro! It's just one like under a million pounds. Yeah. Well, the winner of the tournament won three million, didn't it? Nine million. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, said, I rate the mum as well. I rate the yeah, yeah. because because she had to like get a visa and then sort this out. And mm. There was problems with that. I just rate her for actually like going with the kids. They had to go somewhere, didn't they? They had to go to like another country yeah. or something. The reason I was asking is because don't you think the majority of escapisms are good until it's not in moderation? No, I think I think something like I mean, obviously you can't do. Every day, right? Yeah, you can't do every day because you've got work, you've got friends, you've got but you've got other shit, right? But then there's like, like also your body will actually fall apart. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So there, like there's a balance to it, and then like there's unhealthy escapisms. Like I think this is pretty much for most men. Like it's alcohol, it's drugs. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you, you mean? Lost. Yeah, <laughs> they try to find <laughs> something. <laughs> In moderation, like I think, like unhealthy escapism for most guys is like finding the bottom of the alcohol ball mm. constantly, and then like drugs as well, mm. like because obviously drugs will definitely help you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> drugs will definitely help you escape, because like that's a different reality, yeah. right? Like. So, so, that, so, that's so those are unhealthy escapes. I think yeah. drugs would be a, an unhealthy one. Yeah. Mm. Um, but just then because, it depends which ones. Yeah, yeah, of mm. course. Like, it depends how often as I, I wouldn't smoke again. Um, mm. But we, for example, I mean, I did uh, my undergrad paper on, on cannabis. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did it on, on THC, and it really is next to harmless, especially compared to tobacco, alcohol, yeah. it's it's child yeah. drugs basically, yeah. but, um, and it can help, but mm. at the same time, it's Not got people with addictive personality, yeah, yeah. and it's, it's yeah. got it such a, fr- like a level of fragility to it, mm. where if you have, say, what, maybe one week too much of it, you could you could find that as a habit, Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah. even like, when you, the reason I was asking, I was thinking even gymming, you, you might think, oh yeah, no, no, gymming has, um, as a, uh, escapes them, it's great, it's healthy, you know? Mm-hmm. However, then you'd have to question how's anorexia start? Mm-hmm. How does, yeah, yeah. you know, um, what's it, um, is it body, uh, body dysmorphia? Yeah, body dysmorphia, that's it. You know, people will start seeing their weight mm-hmm. drop off and might go, no, no, I need to keep going. Yeah. And keep going. Mm-hmm. 
sorry, can you, can you like, remember what you were saying? Just keep, keep on what you're saying. So guys, that's all we've got time for. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> you know, for the first time, I'm actually going to make a part one and a part two, so I'm enjoying how this chat's going. So join us like in two days time or so, so if you, you can, can see me. get to hear, <laughs> <laughs> get to hear part two in it. Yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Comment, like, subscribe, do your thing, and enjoy yourself. Happy Halloween. <laughs>